What's up, everyone? This is Acid Weasel. I'm sitting here with... Asian Ribbons. And uh, uh, this is going to be part three of a Dark Souls 2 Soul Level 1 run. And uh, last time I finished off at the... Where did I finish? I gotta turn my headphones down. Uh, and the TV's on. Sorry about that sound Hopefully technical difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so we're continuing with Sir Dudington. Last time, if you remember, if you watched part two, I stupidly wasted uh, my Ferris Lockstone in No Man's Wharf. I was being stupid. Yeah, that's a totally kind of derailed plan. Yeah. Uh, but what I said I was going to do this time is... What are we doing this time? Um, oh, the rotten. So let's let's go take care of the rotten. Take care of the rotten. Uh, are we set for the rotten? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with my... Yeah, I'm comfortable with the rotten at this point. Yeah, let's let's go take care of that. Wait, equip that ring. About to take a shotgun to that bird who's outside. I can't even hear it. Oh, uh, you got both headphones on. Yeah. All right, where am I at? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Ooh, la 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 la. Geronimo. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should just change the series well, to... Let's uh, cut that out. <laughs> I should just change the series to Acid Weasel walking off of ledges. Yeah, you have a habit of doing that, don't you? Yeah, when I'm not paying attention. Alright. This is Acid Weasel paying attention now. <laughs> Stupid. <sighs> Dumb. You know what? Just to play it safe, I'm gonna break one of these... I'm gonna turn my game volume back up on my headphones because now I can't hear anything. So, are we, you gonna be doing an entire uh, naked run? Uh, I don't remember if we talked about that. I will be naked most of the time. Just because. Uh, no, I, I like to keep my roll distance and, and speed up. Gotcha. And. Would you recommend being naked for anyone trying a level one? Yeah. For your dodge is more important. I mean, you get to a point where you, anything you hit is gonna is gonna kill you anyways. So you might as well just. Do I drop off here? I'm kind of zoning out. Um, yeah, anyone doing a level one run, I would suggest be naked most of the time, just because anything any armor and suits that you do use isn't really worth the reduced dodge and all that. So, I, I recommend it. Alright. What's going on with my controller? Alright. That was weird. Are you going to fight the rats, or just use this as a bonfire? What am I doing? No, I'm not fighting the rats. What am I doing? Rotten. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was doing. You're right. My bad. Can I drop down for anyone from here? Make everyone puke with all this camera angle swinging. No! Oh, maybe lighting the bonfire might have been a good idea. No, because then I can't get back. I don't think I can get back from there. That's what I did. I dropped from the... I always do that. Drop from the wrong thing. Anyways, maybe this could be like a... <laughs> a tutorial on the top ten ways not to drop down this shaft. I know a lot of women that do that. Huh? <laughs> Okay. No more goofing around. Let's be serious. Oh. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> <sighs> this is retarded, man. Okay. Let's get in a better... F Let's get in a better mindset and do something else real quick. I got a better idea. Okay. <laughs> I have a much better idea. Well, you just got a Ferris lock stone, so did you yeah. want to go do the skip for the... Yeah, let's let's go open let's just so that we can get there and... Set yourself up for it. Get mentally prepared for that. Okay. Yeah. All right, everybody. <laughs> this three. is what I was going to do. This is what we were supposed to do last video. Yeah, I'm going to show you our quick shortcut to skip the Ruin Sentinels. Um... 
Not that the Ruin Sentinels are difficult with a, the level one. It's just, if, if you don't get your mace upgraded by the time you, you get to them, it's, they can be a hassle. Um, once you have an upgraded mace, they're not, they're nothing to be worried about, really. You're supposed to die, dude. Oh my gosh. Violent dogs. <laughs> hey man, it's terrifying. <laughs> I love that little trap they set. The rocks. Oh yeah. So awesome. It's a big move. That was cheap. All right. So last time, I tried doing this, but uh, I I wasted that Ferris Lockstone I got in No Man's Wharf, which was just a dumb, just a dumb idea. Anyways, so now that I went and got one uh, in the in the, the little hole you take to get to the rotten. I can open this up. Huh. Death perception's off. I'll just grab these just for kicks. Um, you don't... You don't need it. Yay, soul vessel's so useful. You don't need to do this at any point in the game. And you probably already know this, but if you use this little shortcut... What's in that chest right there? Uh, I don't remember. Something I don't want. <laughs> I hate these guys. Oh, yeah. Alright, he died. My least favorite enemy types of this game. Oh, man. I'm having really good luck. Everything. <laughs> Anyways, get in there, open the little gate, and I usually t I sit at the bonfire at the at Sinner's Rise. And there's a lot of just running around. And yeah, and that's something you guys, sh I mean, any of you who have done level ones already know. Those of you who are gonna be trying, we'll soon find out, is you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. Your level one run is gonna be full of anguish and pain. Just because everything can kill you in pretty much one hit and it just, I don't know, it can, it can, it can add a lot of uh, frustration. I don't need those fire bombs equipped. Oh! <laughs> These are the sound effects of the dog. Yeah. <laughs> that thing is uh, scary sounding. Everything, everything just cheaply like one shot you at a certain point in the game and it you just find yourself doing a lot of backtracking a lot of unnecessary um, deaths and you can get tedious at times and hopefully hopefully the these videos won't get too bad I'm try to keep the deaths at a minimum at the minimum I can do there's gonna be stupid mistakes that I'm gonna make well, how many how many deaths uh, do you think that you'll be at at the end of this run, or would you like to see yourself at? Um, the first level one run I did, I checked my death count, and I was about a hundred and fifty one hundred and fifty something deaths. 
Gotta for, catch them all. Huh? I, that was that's how many deaths I had for my first level one run. So I would like to keep it under a hundred. The way I'm going, that's not <laughs> it's not likely. Well did you make as many mistakes like falling off and stuff like that in your first um, level? Yeah, I made a lot of mistakes. Oh, is that that dragon? Uh, I believe it's the gargoyles. Right oh, on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are the gargoyles. Ah, oh, he's gonna follow me Fine. seriously. So I remember uh, first playing this game. I believe it was. Who was it? Who said? Oh man, who was it? Who said that? Asked if we'd seen the dragon. Oh, my brother. That's right. Yeah, it took my like, third playthrough before I even noticed them. Yeah, I believe it's the gargoyles from the. It, the, sound, it sounds kind of like them. Yeah, from the Belfry. Nice little uh, hint there to let you know there's more stuff. So now down to the rotten. No. What I'm going to go ahead and do um, is I'm going to go through Huntsman's Cops and Harvest Valley and the Earthen Peak. I decided. Okay. I changed my mind. <clears throat> Uh, because I'm not going to goof around dropping down that hole. I, you can do it. It's just, it's easier if you go get the ladder. Oh, that's right. If you use, um, Gilligan? Yeah, something like that. Gilligan? I don't know his name. Is it Gilligan? I don't. Gilliam? I don't remember. He, he reminds me of a character from uh, Jack and Daxter. He yeah, kind of does, he just, yeah. He kind of looks like he's from that, that universe. Yeah, he kind of does, yeah. Are you going to be doing, um, speaking of which, this dude in the chair always reminds me, for some weird reason, uh, are you going to be doing any of the optional no, uh, not with this guy. Bosses? No. This is just, this will be just a straight through. Beginning then. Yeah, the, or just the, 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 what's required to get through. Ah, trading hits. Eh, uh, poison. Do you have greater uh, poison resistances naked than you do with armor? No. No. Because didn't you have a greater resistance to certain things when you were naked in Dark Souls? Not that I know of. I could have sworn there was. Oh my god, this guy's crazy. I actually hate this guy. No! <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Alright. Now if you if you were in the the dragon form mm -hmm. in Dark Souls, you had uh fire resistance, decent fire resistance. Maybe that's what it was. Probably. But yeah, you, you didn't have any uh, resistance bonuses when naked. The only benefit to be naked is just the equip weight, keep equip weight down. Which is really handy sometimes. He's standing in the corner. <laughs> oh, he's probably, wait, he's probably got a sign down. It's a PvP action. Oh, is this a big PvP area? Uh... I don't know, I don't really do much PvP here. Ah. So then he would walk into it. I hate that guy. This guy? No! Oh. <laughs> Hateful man. Oh god. I for, ah. Did I forget so. Dude, that guy followed me for s. Ah. Oh. You serious? Oh. I just got shot with an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I should really be keeping a death counter. Uh, oh. if, if you play in offline mode, you can check your death counter by going to the. Oh yeah, that's true. That is true. Totally forgot. To, uh, the monument that counts your deaths. Yeah, if you're if you're offline, 
It keeps it count. Yeah. I I think uh, my first playthrough of the game, I was at about man, I give or take a uh, hundred deaths. I was probably around in the six hundred, maybe seven hundreds. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's... I think I was about six. I want to say in the like six fifties, six sixties. If if you uh if you just enjoyed you know enjoyed yourself and checked everything out oh I I didn't enjoy myself played with all the covenants I and... was I was swearing like a longshoreman <laughs> yes all right forget this Let's just open that I'm sick of waiting. This raises the bridge, right? Uh, lowers the bridge. Lowers the bridge. Yes. Yeah. Correct. I don't know why it came out. You should hang out there until they're all gone. Uh -huh. so as you'll see, you don't have a bonfire to stop it yet because that one's closed. This area seems to be one of the more difficult areas for level one to get through. Uh, just considering the, the 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 fierceness and aggressiveness oh. of all the enemies in the area, they're all just so they're all so savage, you know. Yeah, I remember I had trouble with this even as a higher level character. So what I do is I grab this and then just try to get out. If I get and out, go back. Oh, if I'm lucky. Yes. Lady Luck is on your side. Yeah, but because of the aggressiveness on the guys, you, you take so many hits trying to fight these guys. Mm -hmm. And and without, you know, a variety of weapons to use due to your right. stats, this area can, can pose an issue. Awesome. Let's just rest here, get those guys out of my way. Go do the exact same thing and fight the skeleton lords. Every time I think of skeleton lords, I always think of uh, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. Yeah, I don't know why. I just do. I hate this dude. Arrow in the knee. I hate you. And I won't, I won't be fighting most, if not all, of the phantoms. Um, there's no real need to. They cause more of a pain in the butt than, they, than they're worth. Alright. I'd like to take this guy on the right down first. Wow, that was... It's not too bad. Extraordinarily fast. It's not too bad. So before those other guys can get, I try to get at least two of his skeletons out of the way. Yes. All right. All right, I'm gonna have to move. Let's let's keep moving. We're gonna have to use an Nessus. I was a little risky. Safety strat. All right, there should be one more little skeleton. Let's take him out. To bait them around. There's two. Oh no, there was a white phantom. Yeah, it's just the white phantom. That guy was throwing me off. So now we're gonna next take the scythe guy out. Which one drops the uh, bone wheels? That is the, the pyro dude. Yeah. So this guy drops the like the more armored. Skeletons. Mm hmm. So I can bait him on this side that way. Ah, yeah. The guy's wearing the football jerseys. Pads. I can stay away from these guys now. Oh, 
Alright, so that should be four of them. Pyro guy now. Oh, I thought he was gonna do something else. So once he's finished, I, uh, it's, it's not too hard to do, but if you just watch for the little dust, walk over, first dust that comes up, smack it. Smack him. Oh, what was I doing? Whiff. Whiff. Where's the other one? Oh. Ah! And... Triple level. The Skeleton Lords are not difficult with a level one. Skeleton if, Lords! If you just take it easy like that, it's... They're a breeze. Uh, they... They can be a pain if you get all greedy and try to take out the, the three Skeleton Lords themselves. Because then you got a huge horde of death. <laughs> yeah. And it can be... I think I did that my first time as I, uh... Tried to take all of them out, all the big skeleton lords out at once, and then I had a bunch of little yeah. dick skeletons attacking me. <laughs> no, but the easiest way is take out that guy on the right or the left first, depending which uh, skeletons you want to take out first. I take out the guy on the right, the easy skeletons. You're going to say depending upon which region you're from. What? <laughs> you're going to say depending upon which region. <laughs> if you take him out from the right or the left, it's different depending on where you live. No, I was just depending on what what st uh, what type of skeletons you want to fight. Uh, uh, wheels or hello, yeah, yeah, yeah. lady. All right, this is the titty knight saleswoman. Oh, okay. We uh, <laughs> we get her to to sell her goodies. Anyways, flap your lips, flap them. Not those ones. Oh, oh, oh. I suppose it's about. It is about time. Oh. Somebody forgot to go busy. I thought I said it to busy. And let's go back to Majula, spend the souls on uh, the um, throwing knives and life gems. Just as I go, I like to keep my life gems maxed out. I, I don't pay too much attention to the SS flask because a life gem will completely heal a level one. Oh, you know what I should have done? I believe there's a Titanite chunk in that poison pool I should have gone to grab and taken this to plus seven. I believe that's true, yes there is. Well, we don't we don't need it now. Um we can we'll just take out the covetous dude and then come back. Okay. And might as well get some urns for kicks. Now are you going to fight uh Mytha in this one as well? Or if I can get if I can get through the uh the covetous demon and Mytha that would be, that would be fine by me. Yeah, because then, uh, on the next part, we can take out Iron Keep and maybe the Rotten. Yeah. Or something along the lines like that. Yeah, yeah, if we can do that, that'd be awesome. Ah, oh, whatever. Can I do, deal with it? <laughs> Stepping in and out of the ooze. I love that skeleton right there. He's like, shh. <laughs> You don't see me. I'm just listening to the walls. I believe this is a Titanite chunk. Yeah. Isn't there a fragrant branch of yore in in um, here? down yeah somewhere? Yeah. I don't remember there exactly is. where. I think it's it's either yeah there it this is. one. Ah, uh, skeletons. Virulent skeletons. Is it bearded or virulent? <laughs> Violent. Oh, I, I don't know. Totally wrong out of the front. Alright. This looks like something out of World of Warcraft to me. Hey. Oh, and there's my neighbor. Birdie looking dude. Spike. I always thought those guys would be more lethal if they could actually aim those big old hexes. I'm glad they're not. You ever been hit by one of those? Yeah, it kills you. Yeah. Most of the time. It sucks. I like this area for some reason. 
This is one of my more favorite, my more, uh... I like Harvest Valley area or Earthen Peak. I like Harvest Valley. Yeah, the Harvest Valley is actually, for some reason, cool, if, in my opinion. I don't even play that game. But it looks kind of nice, too. I don't know why. But Earthen Peak is just... Ugh. Poison. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Tight night saleswoman's earthen peaks. <laughs> How that creaky noise those poison dudes make. <laughs> so creepy. Hey, job of the hut. Yeah, right. With weird flippers. Ah, oh, I knew it. Stupid. <laughs> Complete with liver spots. This guy's hitbox is so annoying. Not that he's difficult to fight, it's just... He'll hit you at the most... Like, like you'll take damage from him like, by touching him at the most bizarre times. Yeah. Ah! I had a lot of weird... Uh damage taken from him when I fought him. Yeah, like times you're like, I didn't get hit by that. Ah, fat piece of crap. And he moves a little too, uh, nimbly. He just kind of, wait, yeah, he just moves strange. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I have never seen him totally do that. I forgot about that. <laughs> Stuff oh. and nightmares, folks. That was kind of gross. Yeah, right? <laughs> I hate it when he does that. <laughs> he looks like a naked mole rat had sex with a seal and a slug at the same time. Oh, terrifying. Where'd that guy that just fell out? Oh, oh. god. No! Oh. That's not cool. <laughs> Dude. Now he's just being a jackass. <laughs> have you ever had him knock the uh, guys out of the jars from up here? No, I I didn't even know there were people. There guys. Those jars up yeah, there. there's um there's guys up in the, it's those little uh those guys that look like man mannequins. They're oh, up in these those jars. Things, those things. And if you oh gotta go, if you knock those jars down, yeah, or break them open, those mannequin guys will come out. And he'll stop uh, following you, or he'll stop fighting you to go go uh, go eat them. He'll eat them. Yeah. Does he get health back? Uh, it's a good question. I haven't paid attention to his health bar. I was just shooting him with arrows to see what would happen. Huh. Maybe they would like poison him or burn him or something. That is very interesting. And they drop those mannequin guys out, and he eats them. I didn't know that. Which allows you to get quite a bit of hits on him. I just hope they don't kill you in the process, right? Yeah, they're kind of too busy getting eaten. Oh. <laughs> they don't got time. I'll be around. If... Repair hmm. powder just because you don't plan on staying at bonfires for very long, or I'm um, just. I, I like to grab that guy's repair powder. Uh, repair powder is helpful with the level ones because you. Don't do a tremendous amount of damage most of the time, and since you'll find yourself in long fights with one mace, you can get close to a damaging weapon. And if you if you battled a few enemies before running into a boss fight, it it can be a handy to avoid breaking your right. mace. I don't know what his deal is they seem to be uninterested in fighting me hmm those big green guys or the mannequins ah the mannequins throwing knives is not a bad idea huh throwing knives not a bad idea yeah they come in handy oh god Ha! Ah, did that guy fall? I believe he did. Wow! What a dumbass! 
<laughs> Stupid. Yeah, I would say that the enemies in Earth and Peak aren't necessarily the smartest ones. I've had them fall off a handful of times. <laughs> ah! You're a bastard. Dude! Oh, um, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> living on the edge there. Yeah, right? That was sweet. Dude. <laughs> Ugh. That was awesome. Not. Right. Sweetness. Cool, cool, cool. On fire. Oh, what am I doing? Do I got a flame butterfly? Heck yes. Let's get this done before I light that bonfire. That way, that guy, I don't have to deal with that guy again. Good idea. Now, will you be doing a summon for Mytha? I will probably use Jester Thomas just to show everyone how awesome Thomas is, how he's your best friend, and you can totally sit back and have a smoke. There's a hidden door behind you, by the way. Yeah. So, you don't have the ability to use a bow, but... With iron arrows, I like to do this. Haha, <laughs> just poison them. Yeah, so I don't have to deal with them myself. Ah, that's a genius idea. <laughs> <laughs> that sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> they do do a one shot attack on you, don't they? Yeah, well. Is that yeah, a, they have the higher uh, some games kind of or is that Forbidden just... Sun technique? And voila. That thing is just incredibly fast. Oh! Ah, oh, that was scary. Ooh. <laughs> Sound effect. Now, what do the dragon charms do again? The dragon charm? <laughs> Where is it? I think it's it. That's it. No, that's it. It cures poison and greatly restores HP. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, one of those items that I always failed to uh, pay attention to. Ah, uh, I really use it. I, it's like a the poison moss clump thing. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be a wuss, huh? All right. Thought you thought you would try something like that. Oh, what do we got? Silverback. I was just thinking. I wonder if they dropped their shield. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's another shield you can get. It looks just like there's um, something about a tree. I don't remember. It has really, really high magic resistance. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, so... Probably useful for her. So this is a, a recommended technique uh, for the level ones. Um, it's kind of cheesy. You don't, you don't have to do this. But go human. And the summon sign right here at the base of these stairs. I kill those guys first just so he doesn't get caught up. And you should find Jester Thomas. Jester Thomas is is not a must, but if you're doing more of a casual level one, not one of these hardcore, no summons, no this, no that, no modded weapons, whatever, then this is not for you. But Jester Thomas is an awesome, awesome summon to use when fighting Mytha, the Baneful Queen. So if you can avoid getting hit by her most of the time, <laughs> unlike I just started out doing, keep your distance. Don't be stupid like me and get wrecked a bunch like this. Just take your time. <laughs> oh, Jester Thomas, as you can see, is a damage boss. Take hits when you can. Just worry about surviving the fight with her. 
Oh, that was stupid. Wow. Oh, he took her tail off. Awesome! Go, Jester Thomas! One more hit. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The Baneful Queen. That is the thrown. man. Who is it? It's Jester Thomas! <laughs> man, that guy. That guy. Man deserves a, a beer and a high five. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's call it quits here. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, uh, I'm, s I'm sorry, everybody, that I didn't get to the rot, and I totally forgot. I... <sighs> Your level one doesn't have much health, so dropping down that hole is possible. It's just... I don't want to waste a bunch of my little humanity things, trying to keep, or human effigies, excuse me, uh, trying to get down there. Um, I made a stupid mistake. As you'll see, I make lots of mistakes with this still level one. Uh, but as you also see, most of these bosses are not ridiculous. If you just follow the rules, if you just take your time with them, um, know the boss. This is this will be a very doable run for for most gamers, uh, for hardcore gamers, pro gamers. All you Dark Souls maniacs out there, this this will be a very, very doable thing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn around, and wave at you all, do the cheesy Dark Souls thing. This is gonna be one of the longer videos too, but yeah, that's it was, totally fine. This will be about what over half an hour or so. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna call it quits there. We're saved at that bonfire. I'm gonna go ahead and start and quit. And next time, we're going to take care of... I guess we can just run up, take care of the, the Iron King. He's not too big of a deal. I don't need my mace that high. Um, his his attacks aren't difficult to dodge. So I'll show the I'll show him. Um, I'm not going to promise anything for next time. Because you can see, made one promise, didn't go through. So we're just going to we're gonna see how it goes. And uh, just wing it. Yeah. That's what Ribbons and Weasel are all about. <laughs> all right, anything else you want to say? Ta-ta uh, for now. All right. Uh, this is Acid Weasel and Agent Ribbons, and we'll catch you guys later.